Hello, a warm welcome to you from SGT University. I am Devika Raje from Faculty of Behavioral Sciences. Today, we will be learning about developmental psychology and what it deals with. Developmental psychology is a scientific study which deals with an individual from conception till death. Let us study about some major goals in developmental psychology. Let us study about some major goals of study in developmental psychology. The goal of study in developmental psychology is to strengthen our knowledge about how development evolves over the entire lifespan. Developing a knowledge of the general principles of development across individuals. Developmental psychologists are concerned with diverse issues ranging from the growth of motor skills in the infant to the gains and losses observed in the intellectual functioning of the elderly people. Development occurs in different domains such as biological, social, emotional and cognitive. The biological development is indicative of the changes in our physical being. The social development is related to the changes in our social relationships. Now, the emotional development which is related to the changes in our emotional understanding and experiences. And lastly, the cognitive development which helps us to learn about the changes in our thought processes. These are the different domains in which development occurs. Now, with the help of a video, we will learn what are the different fields of psychology and we will also revise whatever we have learned up till now. Individuals interested in studying the mind and behavior of others make up the field known as psychology. There are many different areas of psychology that seek to understand human thought, emotion, and behavior. Some examples include the following areas. Positive psychology addresses the impact of positive thought patterning and how to obtain a fulfilling lifestyle. Clinical psychology focuses on treating mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. Experimental psychology uses a scientific process to learn more about the mind and behavior, and social psychology studies how a person's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are influenced by other people. Lifespan development encompasses the area of psychology that addresses developmental changes one experiences throughout life, from conception to death. Many of these changes are evident, such as physical changes in height, skin, and hair color. However, these are not the only changes that humans experience. As we age, we often experience transformations in how we think, feel, and behave. For example, things that seem important to us in adolescence may no longer matter to us by the time we enter adulthood. Developmental psychologists seek to understand why changes occur and what aspects of human development remain the same. Now coming on to the principles of lifespan development, which Baltus discussed in 1987. The first one was, development is lifelong. Secondly, Development is also multidimensional and multidirectional. Third, development involves both gains and losses. Fourth, development is plastic. Fifth, development is also situated in contexts and in history. Developmental psychology is multidisciplinary. Let's discuss each principle in detail. The first one says, development is lifelong. Baltus discussed that this belief has two separate aspects. First, the potential for development extends across the entire lifespan. That is, there is no assumption that the life course must reach a plateau or decline during adulthood or old age. Second. Development may involve processes 
which are not present at birth but emerge throughout the lifespan. Secondly, development is also multidimensional and multidirectional. Multidimensionality refers to the fact that development cannot be described by a single criterion such as increase or decrease in behavior. The principle of multidirectional maintains that there is no single normal path that development must take. It can also be said that healthy developmental outcomes are achieved in a wide variety of ways. Development is often comprised of multiple abilities which take different directions showing different types of change and consistency. Another principle of development is the belief that development involves both gains and losses. Developmental process involves aspects of growth as well as decline. We can understand that with the help of an example. Formal schooling increases a child's knowledge base and develops their cognitive abilities. But it also restricts their creativity as they learn to follow rules which are designed by others. These two aspects of growth and decline need not occur in equal strength and also the balance between gains and losses change with time. The fifth principle articulated by Baltus is that development is plastic. Plasticity refers to the within-person variability which is possible for a particular behavior or development. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Shortly after birth, because of epilepsy, a hemisphere of the brain was removed of a baby. He can recover the functions associated with that hemisphere as the brain recognizes itself and the remaining hemisphere takes over those functions. A key part of the research agendas in developmental psychology is to understand the nature and the limits of plasticity in various domains of functioning. The sixth principle states that development is also situated in context and in history. Development varies across the different contexts in which we live our lives. For example, social and rural environments are associated with the different sets of factors which have the potential to impact on development. Understanding how development differs for individuals to individuals within these two settings. Understanding of the differing contexts. Development is also historically situated that is, the historical time period in which we grow up affects our development. Baltus suggests that the study of developmental psychology is multidisciplinary. That is, the source of age-related changes do not lie within the province of any one discipline. For example, psychological methodologies may not be appropriate for understanding factors that are sociological in nature, rather, an understanding of human development will be achieved only by research conducted from the perspective of disciplines such as sociology, linguistics, anthropology, and computer science. So, the amalgamation of these is very important. Today, we discuss about what developmental psychology deals with and the principles related to development. In the next class, we will be learning about issues related to development. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.